Do you have too many peppers in your garden? Here's an idea. Wow, wow. Hey everybody, welcome to the Hamakua Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany and today we are water bath canning. I got today's recipe out of the Ball Complete Book of Home Preserving and we are canning pickled peppers. It just started raining, I hope that's not too loud. On this one, I'm going to suggest that you might invest in some rubber gloves. I don't think any of us enjoy having a burnt face or eyeballs or anything else for that matter. I'm gonna start off with giving you a tip for when you are shopping for this or you're digging them out of your freezer because you have an abundance of peppers from your harvest and you don't know what to do with them. So the amount of peppers that you're gonna need, six cups of hot banana peppers. My grocery store did not have hot banana peppers, so I switched them out for Anaheim. It is safe for canning to switch out what type of peppers you are using, as long as you're using the same amount that has been tested with the recipe. And it doesn't matter if they're sweet or spicy. For six cups of banana peppers, it will be a roughly one and a half pounds of peppers. Four cups of jalapeno peppers, which is roughly one pound of unsliced up jalapeno peppers, and one cup of serrano peppers, which is roughly four ounces of whole serrano peppers. Now this recipe does go by pretty quick, so I would suggest you get your hot water canner getting hot. Now this recipe does go by pretty quickly, so I would advise that you get your hot water bath canner getting hot sooner than later. After you have sliced up all of your peppers, place them into a large stainless steel bowl. <laughs> Doesn't matter. After you've sliced up all your peppers into rounds, put them all mixed together into a big bowl. Make sure that they're all mixed together so you get a lot of this pepper in that jar and a lot of that pepper too. Mix them together, then set it aside. This recipe says that it makes five pint jars. I went with half pint, half pint jars today, and I ended up with 14 half pints. So it's not too far off, it was pretty close. For your brine, go ahead and mix together in a large pot, six cups of white vinegar, two cups of water, and three cloves of garlic. Bring this up to a boil, then reduce the heat and let it simmer for five minutes. After that, remove your garlic cloves and top off your jars. I skipped a step. Go back. Fill up your jars to a half of an inch of head space with your raw peppers. You can choose to take all the seeds out if you want, part of them, or leave them all in. It just is a matter of how spicy you want your peppers. After your brine has simmered for its five minutes, go ahead and put the brine into the jar, also coming up to a half an inch headspace. Discard the garlic cloves or eat them. I just gave myself a weird idea. It's not bad. Is this a natural dewormer? Wow. The garlic is not overwhelming and neither is the vinegar. That is super weird. I actually kind of like it. Is that weird? Is that weird? Remove your air bubbles and adjust the liquid level if necessary. Wipe down your rims to make sure you don't have any debris left on there, any seeds or anything else. Place your lids in your rings, fingertip tight, then go ahead and put them in your water bath canner. Bearing in mind, we don't want any risk of thermal shock. So you have your hot, so you have your hot jars going into a hot canner. Make sure that your jars are covered with a minimum of one inch water.
Bring this up to a full rolling violent boil, then start your timer for 10 minutes. After your 10 minutes is up, take your lid off, turn off your heat, and let it set for an additional five minutes. Now it's time you can take your jars out of your canner. I like to set them on a cutting board that's covered in a rag. That way it's going to disperse the heat, but not too quickly, and it won't be too hot on my countertop. Wow, wow. <laughs> Leave your jars to sit here for 12 to 24 hours. Then the next day you can wash your jars. Label them. and put them up on your pantry shelf. But not before we do a taste test. I am quite confident that this recipe will be one of those that just gets better with time. So when we're tasting it now, I'm not so sure that it's going to have reached its full potential. And I think that if it sits on the shelf for a few months, it'll be even better. So that will give us something to look forward to. It has not been a few weeks. It has been a few hours, but we're gonna bust this baby open. I don't have any that didn't, I don't have any that didn't seal, so we're gonna have to bust it open, but I'm okay with it because I wanna know. I wanna know how it turned out. I'm very excited. Mm. It smells kinda like pepperoncinis. Here we go. Vinegar, spice. Mm hmm. Yeah, vinegary and spicy. Mm hmm. They're um, very soft in texture, for sure. Little. Not sure. Some of these definitely had more um, seeds than others. Hard to say if this one had more or not. I'd say that's just a good all around multi-purpose peppered, peppered pickle, pickled pepper, for sure. You stick that like on a sandwich, on the side with your sauerkraut, things like that. Throw a couple of those in there, dice it up and put it in your tacos. You could use it as a garnish on top of your tacos or in your taco meat. Absolutely. Anytime you want something a little bit spicy and a little bit pickly, this is definitely a good go-to. Um, I did decide to do it in the smaller jars because I don't think for any reason, and it's a little spicy. My tongue. I don't think for any reason that we would actually use more than this. I thought about doing it in the quarter pint jars, um, but I decided to go with this. I ended up with 14 half pint jars with this recipe, and I did measure out the amount of peppers I was using, as you saw. It's a little bit hot, but not unbearable. Not at all. Well, that's all. Perfect. I'm going to make sure that we always have some of this in the fridge. It would replace um, something that my sweetheart had asked for, which is th these small cans, probably about a half, half of a half pint um, of these chilies that you find in the, you find it in the Mexican food section at the grocery store. And there's these little cans with the little green chilies in it. I think this is pretty comparable um, as far as our purposes go. And dice this up and put it in fried rice. Put it on top of your nachos. I'm trying to build up my heat tolerance. I hope that this encourages you guys to know that you can go ahead and make anything you want to. You can can things in small batches, big batches, pickled, not pickled. There's all kinds of things. 
<clears throat> That's going to do it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Hamakua Homestead. I'll see you again soon.